Huge win for common sense and the right to self-defense. Manhattan's woke Soros-funded district attorney Alvin Bragg filing a motion to dismiss charges against bodega worker Jose Alba. Decision coming after a huge pressure campaign and during a nervous time for Soros-funded prosecutors. We're going to have more on that here in just a few minutes. Also today, so desperate for attention, AOC, Ilhan Omar, and a bunch of other attention-seeking members of Congress joined a Roe versus Wade protest outside the Supreme Court. Police breaking up the protest as it blocked traffic. AOC can be seen in this video walking right in front of all the cameras, police escorting her away. She's got the hands behind the back pretending she's cuffed, but if you keep watching, oh, the right arm goes up. She does the BLM fist, and then she actually puts her hands right back behind her back to pretend again to be handcuffed. And that messaging went around to all the squad members as Ilhan Omar does exactly the same thing. She's walking by herself. They said these ladies were arrested. They weren't arrested. They were asked to leave. Hands behind the back, and then right at the last thing, oh, arm goes up. You just saw it right there. If they didn't have lying, what exactly would they have? Some comedy there from in front of the Supreme Court today. There was also a House hearing on abortion rights uh, in Congress today. Congressman Morgan Griffith of Virginia asking all five Democrat witnesses if they support any restriction at all, even 38th week on abortion. And it is quite a moment. I believe that people, yes or no. I believe that people yes who no. have abortions deserve to make that decision yes or no. for themselves. I don't think right, that that's enough. I reject the question because all bans are denying people right, that's the enough. ability Dr. to Dr. Guerrero, yes or no. Productive health care and control. Dr. Over Guerrero, life. yes or no. It's not a yes or no question. It's a all right, fair enough. It's a no. Went on like that for a little bit. The left's phrasing on abortion has become quite interesting. If you've noticed, they're now saying that any state with any kind of restriction before fetal viability is now banning abortion. So that's a ban. By their standards, of course, all of Europe has been banning abortion for a long time as well. In another House hearing today, Pete Buttigieg admitting that the more gas costs, the faster Americans will submit to their green energy crusade. The more pain we are all experiencing from the high price of gas, the more benefit there is for those who can access electric vehicles. That's why we're hoping you and your colleagues might reconsider opposing the reduction of EV upfront prices with tax credits. Unfortunately for the administration, their destruction of the American economy is actually hurting that crusade as gas prices come down due to this pending recession. Fewer people will feel inclined to buy electric cars. Very unfortunate turn of events for the Green Army that's running the Biden administration. Sticking with the economy for a moment, a home builder survey becoming a major indicator of a tanking economy. A new study by the National Association of Home Builders found sentiment dropped 12 months, 12 points in just a month, I should say. One of the steepest declines they have ever seen in that survey as home buyers run away from purchase contracts on their houses and say, you know what, I'm not buying a house right now. I'm going to hold on to my money. This is both Bank of America and Goldman Sachs now predicting recessions. Goldman CEO bucking his own economist, saying a recession now is quite likely. And in other news, Biden is making the process of vetting immigrants coming from Afghanistan much easier. After our disastrous pullout there, there was a lot of concern for the men and women who helped our troops during the 20-year war. But, of course, there are also plenty of Taliban sympathizers living in Afghanistan who would have a clear motive to come to the United States for all the wrong reasons. Open border Biden now ensuring that refugees only have one form to fill out, a shockingly simple vetting process for a country that has harbored terrorists for a number of years. So far, more than 80,000 Afghans have been resettled into the United States since that pullout. Also tonight, Trump's education secretary says the department she used to run should be abolished. Betsy DeVos says the bureaucratic disaster that has become the Department of Education has not led to higher test scores since it was established in the 1970s. It shows no progress at all. DeVos, a major advocate for school choice, for vouchers, for charter schools, which, of course, lead to much better results for kids. But the unions, of course, only care about their own self-interest in this. They spend millions of dollars fighting common-sense education reform that could do a lot of good. And Democrats, of course, bend to their every demand. And New York Governor Kathy Hochul facing a very credible allegation of corruption after the state paid more than $600 million to one of her donors. A company called Digital Gadgets got boatloads of cash from the state of New York to do COVID testing. The contracts never even went out to bid, though. 
Digital gadgets just got a $600 million business deal from New York without even competing for it. How sweet is that for them? Records show the owner of Digital Gadgets donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to Hochul's campaign.